Hello and welcome to our Batfish demo series, where we showcase capabilities of Batfish and how they might be used as a part of your automation workflow. My name is Yifei, and I will show you how to analyze the impact of failures using Batfish. Unexpected failures and planned maintenance that brings down nodes or interfaces occur frequently in the network. While most networks are designed to be tolerant to such failures, Gaining confidence that they are in fact fault tolerant is difficult. Today, network engineers often reason about network behavior under failures manually, which is a complex and error-prone task. Consequently, the network could be one link failure away from an outage that leads to a massive loss of revenue and reputation. For those reasons, it is crucial to analyze the impact of failures and identify potential vulnerabilities in the network before they happen in production. This video will show you how Batfish makes it easy to perform this analysis. With Batfish, you can proactively analyze the network behavior under a range of failures based just on the device configurations. And you can even enable advanced testing approaches such as Chaos Monkey style testing to identify vulnerabilities. This analysis will help you gain unprecedented confidence on the fault tolerance of a network. Let's get started. In this video, we consider a network with three S's that are connected with eBGP. Within each S, iBGP and OSPF are used. The configurations used in this demo are available at the link in the description. The network is designed with redundant links in order to tolerate a certain degree of failures such that all nodes in the network can always reach the point of presence under any single node failure. First, let's initialize the network in Batfish using the folder where the configuration files sit and the name we would like for the snapshot. Batfish will then parse the configuration files, simulate the routing process of the network to build the ribs and fibs, and generate a model of the network that we can analyze. To proactively analyze the impact of failures, Batfish offers a simple API, BF Fork Snapshot, to build a snapshot that simulates a specific network failure scenario. Batfish supports three basic types of failures, node failure, interface failure, and link failure. You can also combine those basic failure types to create more involved scenarios. In the first example, we want to analyze the scenario where the London node fails. We call this function to fork a new snapshot from the original one by specifying the names of the original snapshot and the new snapshot with failures. We also specify the failure scenario, which is the London node here. The call to the API will rerun the simulation of routing protocols and build a model of the snapshot under the desired failure scenario. Remember that all creative snapshots will only exist in Batfish and will not be pushed to production. On the new snapshot with the failure scenario, we can run questions to understand the network behavior under failures. Let's first run a trace route question to verify that a single node, say Paris, can still reach the pop even if London fails. In the code, we specify the start location to be Paris and destination IP to be the prefix of the pop. We only print out one trace per flow by specifying the max traces. The output of a trace route question includes flows from Paris to the pop, the traces each flow traverses, and the total number of traces for that flow. From the output, we see that Traces from Paris will be routed through Asia and reach Houston, where they exit the network via the link to the POP. We can also run other forwarding analysis questions on the failure scenario. Please check our previous video, Introduction to Forwarding Analysis, to learn more about those forwarding analysis questions. In addition to checking the forwarding behavior of the network under specific failures, 
we may also want to verify that the failures have no impact on all flows in the network. Bafish offers a powerful differential reachability question that allows us to check any forwarding changes for any flows between the original snapshot and the snapshot with the failure. Let's revisit the scenario where London fails. To understand if this failure impacts any flow to the pub, we run the differential reachability question by scoping the search to flows to the pub and compare the snapshot with London field to the original snapshot as a reference. We leave the star location unscoped to search across flows from all possible locations. This question will report any flow that was successfully delivered in the reference snapshot but will not be delivered in the failure snapshot or vice versa. If no such flow exists, it will return an empty answer. As we see in the output, Batfish finds a flow from Milan that is successfully delivered to the pub in the failure snapshot, but was denied in the reference snapshot. Let's check the trace in the reference snapshot. We found that the flow should have been denied by the AS1 to AS2 echo on the border water New York, but is permitted on the other border water Seattle in the failure snapshot. This difference reveals a potential security vulnerability where traffic is not being properly filtered in at the border water Seattle. This vulnerability would have kicked in upon the failure of London or its connection to New York. Luckily, Badfish allows us to catch and fix it before something bad happens in production. The final example in this video shows how to enable advanced approaches such as Chaos Monkey style testing to identify potential issues that will be triggered during failures. Chaos Monkey is a common method to build highly reliable software systems where different components of the system are randomly failed to see what impact it has on the service performance. Such testing is known to be highly effective, but is not possible to do in the networking context until now. The code snippet shows how to perform Chaos Monkey testing to identify two link failures that can cause an outage or expose a security vulnerability. We pick a fixed random seed just for demonstration purpose, so we get repeatable results in the video. In the code, we'll run five iterations of tests. In each test, we'll pick two links at random and fork a new snapshot with the failed links. Here, we'll fill a link by filling one of these interfaces. We'll then run the differential reachability question on flows to the pub to check whether their foreign behavior will be changed by the failure. If any two links failure cause change to foreign behavior of any flows, the code will output the details of the links. Let's run the code. We see that there is a failure scenario which will lead to a change in the foreign behavior of some flows. This scenario is a failure of two links that connect Seattle to San Francisco and Philadelphia. Let's diagnose this situation to understand this problem. To begin, let's first see which flows are impacted. We see that when the links fail, the node Hong Kong loses connectivity to the pub in US. And similarly, for Seattle, Singapore, and Tokyo. Given the network topology, this is quite surprising because after those failure, we would have expected Asia to be able to reach US via Europe. To further investigate the root cause, we ask Bafish to show how the routing tables differ in the two cases. We do so using the roles question and comparing the two snapshots as in the differential reachability question. We focus on the impacted destination prefix and the BGP routes. The output table shows all difference in routes between the two snapshots. We see that the routers in Asia, such as Tokyo and Singapore, only have the BGP routes in the reference snapshot, but not in the failure snapshot and similarly for Seattle. 
The missing route in Seattle can be explained via missing routes in Asia, since Seattle depended on Asia after losing its two other links. Routers in Europe do not show up in the table, which means that Europe still has the routes after failure. This alerts us to the possibility of improper filtering of incoming routes in Asia, so we should check on that. There are many ways to analyze incoming route filters. We will use the define structure question of Bafish to extract necessary definitions on the border router Hong Kong. The answer to the question shows us the types and names of all defined structures in our configuration, and also the nine numbers they are defined. Here we see that there is a row map AS1 to S3, which is defined on the configuration. Now we can quickly navigate to the lines in the configuration file. We see that the row map is denying routes that match the access list 102. Let's take a look at the definition of this list. We find that this list includes the prefix of interest on the last line. Thus, the row map inadvertently blocks the prefix and disconnects Asia from US when Seattle or its links fail. Without Bafish, it would have been hard to find this vulnerability, but the Chaos Monkey style testing enabled by Bafish makes it easy to find such vulnerabilities before they cause a service outage. To summarize, this video demonstrates how Bafish help analyze foreign behavior in network failures. We see that BF fork snapshot can create a snapshot from another with a failure scenario involving interfaces, links, and nodes. Differential reachability can reveal all foreign behavior changes for all flows between two snapshots. Finally, we can build on top of the basic functions to create more involved analysis such as Chaos Monkey testing. Thanks for watching this demo about how to analyze impact of failures using Bafish. And don't forget to join our community on Slack or GitHub. Goodbye and take care.